How do you mentally prepare for a peak race during a season? That's what we're going to talk about today. How's it going runners? My name is Justin Thompson. I'm your average running PT and I help the average runner achieve their own personal elite status. If that's something you guys are into, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you know when the next video comes out. So this video is going to be releasing on December 10th at around 6 a.m. Eastern Time. And when it releases, I am going to be preparing for my 5K time trial that is basically my peak race of this season. So as I'm getting ready for this race, I wanted to put out this video that talks about kind of the mental strategy, the mental preparation for a big race. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the question out there to you guys, and I want you guys to answer in the comments below, what is your mental strategy? What is your mental preparation leading into a big race? Now, I'm not talking about necessarily the long term. I'm talking about day before, day of, um, because that's where I'm at right now. I, I'm getting ready to run this race tomorrow, uh, and I'm going to be... Uh, doing a lot of mental preparation over the next day. So what is your mental preparation in the day or maybe the week or so before your peak race? So what I will do, I'm gonna give you my three things that I'm doing right now, right now that's kind of preparing me mentally for the race that I am going to be doing tomorrow. So again, if you haven't heard, I'm going for a sub 19 minute 5k. That sub 19 minutes for the 5k is something that I haven't done in about 15 years since I was a senior in high school. So this is a big, big uh, race for me um, that I'm really excited about and looking forward to, uh, to, you know, testing myself and seeing what I can do. So my first mental strategy is that I am running the race in my head and there's a lot that goes into you know visualization and there's a lot of research out there about it about you know the fact that you have already run the race multiple times in your head it's it changes your brain and it makes it so that you if you've seen it happen already you can then make it happen right so it's it's a very simple thing to do uh, if you're willing to take the time to sit down and actually do it. For me, that doesn't mean I'm sitting down for a full 19 minutes and running through every single step in my head. That's not how this is going to work, especially if I'm running in a circles around a track. That's That'll get pretty boring mentally. So uh, the way that I'm doing it, I'm spending like two or three minutes just kind of calming myself. And usually I'm doing this like before bed or when I first wake up or something like that, where I am just taking a few minutes and I'm thinking about, okay, how am I supposed to feel at this point in the race? How am I supposed to feel at this point of the race? What am I going to feel at two miles or two and a half miles into this three mile run that's going to be a challenge. What's going to test me and, and all of this and, and think also on my previous race that I did where what was I feeling in my previous time trial where I ran 1909, right? So what was I feeling there and how can I better, uh, better handle the things that I was feeling then? So I, I've been running that race through my head two or three times over the last day and that's really helpful for me to know that those challenges are going to come up and now I know what I can do to help combat those challenges. Now, now the second mental strategy that I am using and that I did this morning, so again, today it's one day before my time trial, but I did this this morning and this is more of a, a physical thing that really helps with your mental preparation. I went through my entire pre-race routine, literally from wake up to what am I eating to bathroom preparations <laughs> to what are the warm-ups that I'm going to use, what is the warm-up that I'm doing. I literally drove to the track, did the warm-up, did my 10-minute easy run to just get the body loose, then did my 10-minute dynamic warm-up, and I even took it all the way through my first 400 meters on the track 
at the pace that I want to run my 5k at. So I literally went through the entire pre-race, even into the race kind of preparation, um, and, and took it all the way through to that first quarter mile because I want to know how is my body going to respond to what I'm doing right now and, and how, and can I mentally check myself down? And what, what do I mean by that? Because I can build myself up in such a way that I will get way too excited and go way too fast for that first quarter mile. And I've talked about this on, in a number of videos in the past where I talk about how I just bust the gut in the first quarter mile. So I literally took it out and did, took it all the way to, all the way through that first quarter mile of my pre-race routine into the race and ran that first quarter mile in about 91 seconds. So, and that's exactly where I want to be for this particular race. And now I know what that pace feels like, and I know what that pace feels like after the full pre-race preparation. So I know what I need to be feeling all the way through. And finally, number three, I'm kind of reviewing my race mantras of sorts. So those sayings that you kind of repeat to yourself throughout the race that helps you stay strong and get through those hard spots in the race. So for me, I've mentioned this in another video before about mantras. My mantras are going to be run tall, run strong. Okay, so run tall, run strong. And and that to me just helps me to kind of keep my body upright, but it also kind of cues me for whatever reason, that cues me to kind of have this forward lean and get a good, strong push off from behind, not trying to reach myself out in front with my legs. So making sure that my cadence stays strong and my and my uh, stride stays strong. The other mantra that I that I kind of picked up from my last 5K time trial was exhale. And I'm gonna have to kind of remind myself as I get deeper into the race, as I get into that one and a half miles, two miles, two and a half miles. I have to remind myself to exhale. And that's my, that's my other mantra is to exhale to get rid of all of that carbon dioxide that's building up in my lungs and in my, in my uh, tissues in my body and make room for all that extra oxygen that I can bring into the lungs so that, I, so that that extra oxygen can be used. So I want to make sure that I get rid of all the bad stuff, exhale so that I can bring in a lot more clean air that I can use for cell metabolism and and for the energy systems that I'm going to be using. So again, three strategies that I am using right now, right now, today, for my 5k time trial tomorrow. Again, what are those strategies that you tend to use in that day or even the week leading up to your peak race? What are the things that you do that make it so that you are as mentally prepared as possible to step up on that line and hit it with everything you've got. All right. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Head on out there, seek your elite. God bless. And I will see you next time.